On May 20, 2025, Earth is feeling the effects of a dramatic space weather event. A powerful solar storm caused by an X2.7 class flare from the Sun. This is the most significant flare of the year so far and has triggered major alerts across the globe. The flare erupted from active sunspot region AR3498, releasing a massive burst of energy and ejecting billions of tons of solar plasma directly toward our planet. The associated coronal mass ejection, or CME, was full halo, meaning the solar eruption is coming straight at Earth. Traveling at speeds over a million miles per hour, this storm arrived just hours after detection. The result? A high-level geomagnetic storm classified as G4 by NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center. G4 storms are severe, only one level below the highest category, G5, and can have serious effects on both technology and natural phenomena here on Earth. Airlines have begun rerouting transpolar flights due to potential radio signal loss at high latitudes. Communications on HF high-frequency radio bands are being degraded or blacked out altogether in some regions. GPS signals are seeing increased errors, which can affect everything from mapping apps to precision agriculture and automated navigation systems. Satellites in orbit are particularly vulnerable. Solar storms can charge particles that damage electronic circuits or create false commands, leading to temporary or permanent malfunctions. Operators have switched many spacecraft into safe mode to protect sensitive equipment. On Earth, power grids are under close surveillance. During strong storms like this, geomagnetically induced currents, GICs, can flow through electrical systems damaging transformers and potentially leading to blackouts. Fortunately, grid operators today use predictive models and real-time solar monitoring to mitigate risks and adjust loads where necessary. But there's a beautiful side to the chaos. This storm is generating spectacular auroras, far beyond their normal reach. Reports are already coming in of glowing green and red skies over Scotland, northern England, and parts of northern Europe. In the U.S., northern states like Michigan, Minnesota, and even parts of New York could witness the aurora borealis tonight. So what exactly caused this? The sun is currently in solar cycle 25, which is now approaching its peak activity period known as solar maximum. These peaks happen about every 11 years, and during this phase, solar flares and CMEs become more frequent and intense. Scientists expect more events like this in the coming months. The significance of today's storm isn't just its strength, but its timing. With more of our daily lives dependent on satellites and real-time data, solar weather is no longer just an academic concern. It's a matter of global infrastructure security. For now, all eyes remain on the Sun and Earth's magnetosphere. Agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency are monitoring closely, and more detailed forecasts will follow as the storm progresses. Subscribe now to stay updated on solar activity, space weather threats, and the science behind these fascinating natural events.